It's easy to become numb to media bias these days, so the Ingram Angle is keeping track of the worst defenders of the week. Joining me now, and they're here in the arena, Ali Beth Stuckey, host of the Relatable podcast, and Kira Davis, host of the Just Listen to Yourself podcast. Neither of them have opinions or think about, you know, <laughs> anything that matters. Yeah, very, very important. A terrific panel. Ladies, thank you very much for joining me on this Friday night. So let's begin. With the media's desperate spin of the Biden speech today, he was totally out of touch with reality, of course, but the press wants you to believe otherwise. Listen to this. He is very simply with words reminding people that it was still a war, even if no one else was willing to actually end it. Even former Pentagon folks who started the week quite critical will acknowledge that um, it's going much better now. This president is indeed in charge of this. Also canceling his trip today. He was supposed to be on a plane right now to Wilmington to spend an August weekend there. Uh, he's staying here at the White House to manage this. Wow. Ali Beth, first of all, Biden was talking with his words. So we know that he used his words, maybe his indoor voice today. <laughs> uh, and in fact, right. he, he is going to Wilmington tomorrow. So he's done that every weekend. And remember, he was at Camp David. So uh, why are they celebrating this? Is this a little bit of desperation on their part? It's very much desperation. There's a very low bar. Even if he were staying at the White House this weekend, that wouldn't be enough to make up for the chaos that I think was unnecessarily wrought because of his lack of leadership. And we saw that today in the speech. I mean, unfortunately, sadly, and I say that sincerely, he can really barely string a sentence together. And all of this is a straw man. This whole argument that he's building, that the media is building, that, hey, this is war, this is chaotic, this is how it goes, and he's just doing the best he can. Uh, most people aren't arguing that at some point, you know, we had to get out, not even to get into yeah. all of that, but it's the how. And it's how he lacked communication, he lacked leadership, he yeah. lacked confidence and competence. That's what people are upset about, and he's yet to address that. Yeah, indeed. Now, Kira, what's what's funny is, though, that we have noticed that some of the legacy media actually is being honest, that they're really reporting. And this is why it's so shocking, because we so have rarely seen it. It's it's like seeing a zebra with no stripes. It's weird. Uh, so so what is now that they're still they're still a little bit trying to, like, help him. Is this going to sure. uh, is this going to keep on going that way? Or do you think everyone will get on board with the disaster that this is? Look, it's a little bit of both, but you can imagine how painful it was for the liberal media to watch Joe Biden today and to watch the news cycle this week. I happened to be watching CNN today no. during the press conference. No. And they were just <laughs> apoplectic. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't look away. And it, they were, it was almost like election night in 2016. I mean, they were just apoplectic. Now, what happened was they pivoted to save the narrative. And that's, I think, the what was happening in the clips that you played for us. Yeah. They're trying to pivot. They've got to salvage something because they know that this is a disaster, but they can't yeah. let this president go down. You know, they've pledged their loyalty. So well, I think it's like a silver lining to a very, very dark cloud for oh, them. I'm, I'm glad that you're you're watching that other network. So no, obviously no one else is. So I'm sure they appreciate you. <laughs> now, speaking of CNN, ladies, Anderson Cooper running for cover. Uh, running cover, I should say, for the Biden team, not knowing how many Americans are actually in Afghanistan. Listen to this. I, I've traveled a lot to a lot of countries. I've never registered with the embassy, to my knowledge, in any of the countries I've visited. So I'm not surprised that the embassy wouldn't know how many Americans are necessarily in the country at any one time. Yeah, the ultimate narcissism, Ali Beth, because he's never registered Really, that just makes all the sense in the world. Now, of course, he would if it's work, he'd be traveling with a, with a major network. And then I don't know, maybe it's different when you go to Paris than when if you you know, if you go to Kabul. Uh, is it understandable, right. Ali Beth, that the Biden administration, this is what has been so stunning, has really no idea how many Americans are in Kabul or in Afghanistan as a whole? You know, maybe if that were the only thing that he didn't know, like maybe if that were the only thing that he couldn't call to mind was the exact number of Americans, but he just gave us a round number, or, or if he had a vague idea, not just of what's happening there, but just what's happening in general and where he is at any given moment, maybe we could forgive him for that one thing. But considering that he has fumbled the ball every step of the way so far, yeah, that's, the problem. that's just adding insult to injury and the callousness with which we've seen him handle this this whole thing. Um, it, it's just another shot to the heart. You know, uh, Kira, it's funny, too. When you Anderson Cooper, I think, is a nice guy. I've met him briefly once a million years ago. Uh, you know, he's, tr I suppose, trying to do his best. But it must be very strange to, to have to try to find an excuse like that 
when, t when uh, 10 to 40,000 people are effectively being held hostage? No, I, I think Anderson Cooper is a hostage victim himself, to be uh -huh. honest. I, I think I really do. I think the whole liberal media are just kind of hostages Great to this point. narrative they've set up. Uh, Biden as this, and the Democrats as these, these perfect politicians totally agree with, with Ali Beth. I mean, if this was the only thing that was the problem, okay, fine, whatever. But this is just one of so many things. And the fact that uh, Anderson Cooper was making so much hullabaloo out of it, it was like, are you desperate much? Like, like, there's other <laughs> problems besides the fact that Biden may or may not know exactly how am many Americans are stranded. The point is, Americans are freaking stranded. Right. Go get right. them. All right. All right. Ladies, thank you. That is all the time we've had. So thank you, thank you for, for being with us and for your analysis.